attended Math Science. Okay, today we have very honored and grateful because we have a special guest. Okay, we have in our studio Dr. Nur Afika Binti Mahangazazi. Hi! She is from Head Department of Science in, in University of Science La Malaysia, who is expert in Piro Electric. Okay, how are you today, Dr? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Okay, we go to the first question. Dr. What is the meaning of Piro Electric? Um, Piro Electric is the ability of a certain material that generate a temporary voltage when they are heated or cooled. Oh, is it all pyroelectric is the same with ferroelectric? Um, all ferroelectric material are pyroelectric. However, not all pyroelectric material are pyroelectric. Uh, because pyroelectric materials have a dependent uh, have a temperature dependent moment. And other than that, uh, the pyroelectric can make a spontaneous polarization and uh, but cannot be reversed by changing the uh, direction of electric field while the ferroelectric also can make the spontaneous polarization and can be reversed uh, by changing the uh, direction of external electric field Okay, what is the application of pyroelectric in our daily life? Uh, one of the application of pyroelectric uh, in our daily life is passive infrared sensor which is PIR, which can detect the movement of human beings, animals, or object or anything else uh, which uh, radiate thermal uh, infrared radiation. And the other application is infrared thermometer. Uh, the infrared thermometer, or also known as uh, pyrometer, are used for net contact uh, temperature measurement. Um, they are used for temperature measurement in the areas uh, which the physical uh, contact is not possible uh, such as the moving object and extremely heated object oh, okay I am very interested when you say about PIR can you explain to me more about that? okay the PIR sensor have two slots in it each slot is made of a special material that is sensitive to IR when the sensor is idle both slots detect the same amount of IR, the ambient amount radiated from the room or wall or outdoor. When a warm body like a human or animal passes by, it first intercepts one half of PIR sensor, which causes a positive differential change between two halves. When the warm body leaves the sensing area, the reverse happens whereby the sensor generates a negative differential change. These change parts are what is detected. Thank you so much for watching us and for more information, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.